Fusion Mobile, quality e-learning experience on the go. Weeds engage in competition with crops for nutrients. The roots of the weeds rapidly develop, thereby removing a considerable proportion of the available plant's nutrients, reducing the healthy growth of the crops. Weeds have a crop pests and diseases. That is to say that weeds serve as alternate hosts to pests and diseases. How does this happen? Some weeds may have a crop pests and diseases by acting as their hosts. That is, they provide the insects with food when crops are not available. Weeds compete with crops for soil moisture. Their roots are capable of developing faster and removing a large portion of soil moisture required for the normal growth of the crops. Losses in crop yield The combined competition of weeds with crops eventually will result in low yield of the crops. Weeds compete with crops for soil oxygen. Weeds are capable of developing Long roots, which remove a considerable amount of oxygen required for crop root respiration. Losses in quality of crops. The quality of harvested crops will reduce, and this will affect the market value of such crops. The low yield, coupled with the reduction in the quality of produce, and the increase in the cost of controlling the weeds, consequently leads to losses in the income of the farmers. Reduction in the palatability of some grasses. Weeds also invade pastures, reducing the palatability of useful grasses, which are supposed to be given to animals reared by farmers. Some weeds are toxic to farm animals. The leaves and stems of some weeds contain thousands, which may be dangerous to farm animals. However, some weeds are still useful to the farmers in the following ways. Some weeds can act as cover crops. Some are used as forage grasses and legumes for feeding farm animals. Some are used to prepare compost and green manure. Some weeds can help to control soil erosion. 